Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be simplifying a radical expression, a rational radical expression. We have x root x minus y root y divided by x plus the square root of xy plus y. And I'll be presenting three methods. Why three methods? Because I want to show you alternative approaches. You may or may not like all of them, but I want you to come up with your favorite one and please let me know in the comment section down below. Great, let's start with the first method. So for my first method, I'm going to do something that is commonly done with radicals, but for this expression, it's a little bit cumbersome, so bear with me while I do this. And that is multiplying the top and the bottom by the conjugate. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator, which is basically whenever you have something like square root of a plus square root of b, its conjugate will be square root of a plus square root of, I mean, square root of a minus square root of b. Okay, what am I talking about? So just change the sign. What if it's a plus square root of b? Then again, you just change the sign. So these quantities don't matter that much. They can be radical or non-radicals, but you always change the plus sign to minus sign and minus sign to plus sign. So here, we're going to take this as a single quantity. That will probably help you if you put that in parentheses. And then multiply this by x plus y. Again, let's put that in parentheses to see what is going on. Minus radical xy divided by x plus y in parentheses minus radical xy. Okay? Now notice that the two factors at the bottom are conjugates. And their product produces a difference of two squares. So when you multiply a plus b and a minus b, you get a squared minus b squared. That's one of the most important formulas in algebra and math in general, right? Pythagorean theorem is another one. Anyways, this is super important. Never ever forget that. So now the top, the bottom is going to be difference of two squares. What about the top? Top is just distributive property. Kind of messy, but let me just give you what it is real quick. If you distribute everything over everything, then you're going to get something like this. x squared root x plus xy root x minus x squared root y, minus xy root y, and then minus y squared root y, and then finally y squared root x with a plus sign. And then all of that is divided by x plus y squared minus square root of xy squared, which is just xy. Make sense? When you square a radical, the radical disappears, so you get something like this. Great, let's go ahead and fix this, some cosmetics. I think this was a y, right? I hope so. Okay. Now, this can be simplified. How? First of all, the top uh, can be grouped. And the way I group these things is based on their sign. So I'm going to take this, this, and this together. Okay? Let me put those together. x squared root x plus xy root x plus y squared root x. Also notice that they all have root x in them. That's what makes them kind of... A, a group or team. And then minus uh, these guys here, I'm going to put those everything else like together, x squared root y plus xy root y because I took the minus sign outside. Basically, everything inside the parentheses will be negated, okay? And then I'm just going to draw a line like this. Yay, thank you, notability. And then when you expand this, you're going to get x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. When you subtract xy from it, it's going to be x squared plus y squared plus xy. We're going to lose one of the xy's. Make sense? Cool. Now, what do you do with the numerator? Since we have a common factor, and that happens to be root x here and root y here, right? This is going to be the common factor. So we can go ahead and factor those out. Like root x, we're going to get x squared plus xy plus y squared, and then minus root y, Again, everything inside will be positive, or we'll have a plus sign. And then all of that is divided by x squared plus xy plus y squared. Notice that I just changed those around, but that's okay. You can do that. Okay. Now, notice that x squared plus xy plus y squared is a common factor. You can take it out, and that the other factor is going to be root x minus root y. And the bottom, uh-oh, we got the same thing. Super duper awesome. Cancel out and you'll get the answer. Root x minus root y. Wow, it was that simple? Okay, conjugates, one more time, helps us solve this problem because they always do. Great, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method, and then we're going to look at the third method third. 
So for this expression, let me rewrite it. I have this expression, and then at the bottom I have this. Now I'm going to use substitution because substitution helps. I know a lot of people are going to go with this, my guess. It, it makes sense because you want to get rid of the radicals quickly. So let's do this. So let's call square root of x a and square root of y b. So we can get rid of all the radicals. But this is going to be a squared because from here we get x equals a squared and y equals b squared. And then obviously if you multiply these two together, you get a cubed. Make sense? So this is a cubed a cubed minus b cubed divided by this is just a squared and then plus a b plus b squared and what does that remind you if you said difference of two cubes you write about that if not then please review these formulas you are if you're studying algebra i'm pretty sure you've seen it difference of two cubes is super duper important and very common you can factor it like this and then the same mathematical thing happens and these two terms cancel out and we end up with a minus b but what is a minus b a is square root of x b is square root of y so the answer is square root of x minus square root of y as before uh oh that should not be a surprise right great so far so good okay are you with me let's do the third method we got one more method so bear with me okay so for the third method we're gonna do something that is kind of unusual and you know what it's really hard to come up with this method if you don't know what is going on. But if you know, kind of like behind the scenes what is going on, then you can do it. Again, it's kind of like very brute forcey. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off with this and then just, you know, subtract and add something. And I'll continue to do it until the numerator becomes nicely factorable. So here's what I'm going to do. x root x, I'm going to subtract x root y. Okay? And then, of course, I have to add the same thing because I can just subtract something. But then uh, I need to follow this with a minus y root x. It's kind of like switched around. But then I have to add it because they have to cancel out at the end. And my last term is y root y. And we're done. We close with the last term. And then this is divided by what? The denominator. But uh, here's what you can do. Uh, let's just write it. Okay. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I did this like, so notice that these are opposites, right? So they cancel out and these are opposites and they cancel out. So I get the original one. But the goal was to put these together in a meaningful way so that I can factor. So I'm going to group like this. And now what that's going to give me is if you take out an x, you're going to get root x minus root y. If you take out a, uh oh, this is such a weird plus sign. I don't know why. If you take out a square root of xy, then you're going to get root x minus root y because notice that if you multiply these two things, square root of x times square root of x becomes x and you get that. Make sense? I hope it does. So similarly, we can do the same thing here. Take out y and we'll get root x minus root y. And then the whole thing is divided by x plus root xy plus y. And now the numerator as a common factor, I can take out root x minus root y. And the other factor is going to be x plus the square root of x y plus y. That shouldn't be a surprise, right? You already knew that, hopefully. And now the same thing happens. Everything cancels out. Not everything. A lot of things. And we end up with the answer, which is square root of x minus square root of y. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.